Good morning. Carrying on from Psalm 23, verse 1, David finishes the verse by saying, I shall not want. And now before we get to verse 2, there's a question that we need an answer to. How could David say that? How, how could he have no want? How could we have no want? And what verse 2 is all about, it, it's an answer to that question. It says, he makes me lie down in green pastures and he leads me beside still waters. The whole verse deals with satisfaction and, and fulfilment in God. Where do you and I go to get nourishment? Where do we go to be satisfied? You and I are essentially sponges and we are constantly soaking up and drinking something. We're always looking for something to make us happy and fulfill us. We are pleasure seeking creatures. Every conscious moment, we just naturally do it. And the question is, of course, the vital thing is, where are we going to be filled? In Philippians 4.13, Paul says, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Paul was talking about that he knows what it's like to be poor and rich uh, and well fed and hungry and, and loved and hated. And in all of this, he's learned the secret of being content. He says, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. David had no want. And no matter what situation Paul was in, he was content. What about us? Where do we go? What do we do to be satisfied? You know, time and time again throughout the Bible, it says that God is the only one who can really satisfy us. If we want to live a joy-filled, satisfied life, we need to walk with God. And Jesus says in John 10:10, 10, 10, I have come that they may have life and have it abundantly. I'm currently reading a book uh, by John Piper called Desiring God. If you haven't read it already, uh, I'd really encourage you to. And throughout the book, Piper not only talks about how God is the only one who can satisfy us, but if we want to glorify God, we need to be satisfied in him. And then probably his most famous quote, he says, God is most glorified in us when we are most satisfied in him. God is most glorified in us when we are most satisfied in him. David was on the run in the wilderness. Paul was persecuted and put in prisons. And yet in all of this, their joy in God far outweighed any other circumstance they were in. What are you and I doing to find our ultimate satisfaction in God? Are we able to say with David, I shall not want? Can we say with Paul that no matter what circumstance we're in, we're content? He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. I have no want. May we grow to learn the secret, as Paul says, of being content and fully satisfied in God.